Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we are going to be talking about how you paid for two channels when you bought your Scarlet Solo. But voice meter is trying to force you to only use one. Mm -mm, baby, we're going to be splitting those channels up right now. Smash the track, I'm at it again. Walk my path with my back to the wind. My battles are bad, my shoulders are pin. Next to my words and I'm nice on my hands. Ignite the world, excite the fans. Love it when people get wild in the stands. Love it when all of my team can finally feel like we holding the power within. And I'll never forget every second I spent on my grind at the top. And I'll never forget every person who hated and told me to stop. And I'll never forget every venue I played, every show I rock, every flow I spit, every beat I drop. No need to compete because the game is locked. Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. This is Caleb, and we're going to take a quick minute to uh, post our first YouTube video of 2022. Sorry it took me so long, but I promised I'd do it. So here it is. So I want to take a look quickly at the settings that you need to change if you want to utilize both of your inputs on your Focusrite Scarlet Solo interface. So a lot of us use that interface because it's cheap and the quality is really good for, for the money. But in Voice Meter, there's some settings you have to tweak in order to make sure input one and input two are separated and you can use them both. So let's get into it. Okay. So if you got one of these bad boys for Christmas or you've had one and you're just kind of wondering how you can really utilize it um, so that you can have all of the IO, all of the inputs and outputs on it working properly, well then hopefully this video will help you. So I use one of these in my stream setup. Uh, my stream setup is a two PC setup, so I have my game audio and then I also have my stream PC audio. So I need both channels to be open. Now what I noticed is in voice meter by default, when I first plugged everything in, that I was, you know, my microphone was coming in on both channel one and channel two on voice meter. Where really I need a channel two to ca to capture my stream PC audio, so I could hear when people followed or subbed or did whatever. I need to hear some audio from that side. So what I had to do is this. First off, your A1 is your main output. You need to change that to ASIO. Step one. ASIO focus right USB audio. The next step is really important. Head over to menu, down to system settings options. And take a look at this area. So in our out A1 main device, here's your settings right here. Patch the ASIO input to strips. So input one, you just want to map one and one. And you can do that by just clicking these and they'll just iterate up. So you want to set one to both one and one. That's stereo one. And then in two to stereo two. That's all you need to do to split up your audio. So now for my setup, I don't know how you guys have it set up. I have my voice coming in on track one, right? And that's plugged into port one on my interface right here. And then port two or input two is an actual audio out of my stream setup coming over here and going into here. So now my, when someone follows like, here, let's test, let's test something right quick. Here we go. Okay, when someone follows now, that audio is going to go from my stream setup, which is running Streamlabs, right? It's, it's going to come through into my headphones because I have it routed to my headphones. And I can hear it and it's split up. Now I'm using both the channels on my interface and they're matched to both the channels on my voice meter. Does that make sense? So I hope this helps you because if you're like me and you've plugged everything in, track one and track two were both your voice and you couldn't couldn't split them well that's how you do it asio then menu system settings turn these both to one turn these both to two and you have your audio split beautifully and you can mix them however you want now if you guys want to learn more about voice meter and see how i have set it all up uh, maybe you know you have a similar setup or you're kind of confused on the best way to route things um, let me know down in the, in the comments and I will definitely keep doing these voice meter tutorials, but this one's really quick, hopefully helpful. And I hope you guys are out there making amazing content. I can't wait to see it and hear it. So thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.